Hello, my friends. Welcome to the world's largest virtual yoga pajama party that you have ever seen. My name is Pedro Luna, alongside my friends Brian Hullub and DJ Taz Rashid. We are so grateful to be able to bring you this replay of our party that we held on International Yoga Day here in 2020. We'd also like to invite you into an awesome experience that we created called Empower Yourself, a seven-day journey through the chakras, a yoga and meditation experience unlike any other that begins on June 29th. It's seven days of yoga and meditation. And if you'd like to join us, there's a link in the description below to get all the details and to sign up. It's going to be amazing. We are so grateful to be able to experience it and to show it and share it with the community. We work so hard on it. So if you like this practice, if you're feeling the vibe and you want to come down the rabbit hole with us, click the link in the description below. We look forward to practicing with you. Peace and namaste. Taking this moment to settle into your space. Root your tailbone down, feel your spine nice and long. Take this moment to find a gentle inhale breath through your nose. And just a little exhale out the mouth, a little. Let's do that again, a gentle little inhale breath through your nose. And a little exhale out your mouth. Do it one more time together. Nice inhale breath. And just sigh it out. And as you find yourself here at seated, just take this moment to, to be as you are. And we'll have an intention for our practice today. It'll be a final intention. One for all of us to swirl around. And our intention for today is I am connected. I am connected. And that's that deep connection that we have within ourselves and that we have with each other. That we have with our yoga mat and that we have with the passerby that we see on the street that we don't even know. This deep connection that runs deep within our, our soul, connecting us to our source. And in this moment, I would invite you to place your hands, palm, just right over your spiritual heart center, just right at your heart. And just take a nice breath in through your nose and an exhale out the mouth, a little. Find that again, a nice inhale breath through your nose. And sigh it out. One more time. And let it go. And feel that connection with the invisible string to each and every person that's here to co-create and share this experience with you to be part of this world's largest virtual yoga pajama party, something fun, something light, but at the same something purposeful, meaningful, and powerful. Nice and easy, I'll invite you to roll over your knees and we'll take ourselves into child's pose. Take your time to arrive, softening your hips towards your heels, finding a gentle little child's pose shape feeling really good just right here as you bring your forehead down towards your mat you soften your hips towards your hips relaxing it all in breathing it all in notice and feel these waves of breath that can you nice and easy on the inhale and the exhale Slowly walk your fingers over to the right, put your left palm onto the back of your right hand. Just offer a nice, wonderful stretch here through your left side body. Breathing in, you feel the expansion. Breathing out, you feel the gentle contraction. Inhale big. Exhale, hug it in. Take it for one more breath, feel. Slowly walk up through center. Take it over to the other side. Switch right palm to back of left hand. Breathe big to your right side body. Breathe in, inhale. Breathe 
Breathe out, exhale. Notice these wonderful waves of breath that come over you. Take one more together. And let it go. Slowly we'll come back to center. Take an inhale breath and let's come into a tabletop shape. Finding your hands under your shoulders, your hips over your knees. Just take a little wag of the tail of the dog. Just nice and easy, a little side side. Shaking the head a little yet, a little bit. Maybe rolling the neck around. Nice. Take a little cat cow together. Tuck your toes under, take an inhale. Drop your darts, your back look up. Exhale, we'll catch into the chest. Tops of the feet to the mat, round it out. Inhale, tuck your toes, drop the belly, arch the back, look up. Exhale, you catch into chest. Let's do that just a few more times. Inhale. And exhale. Let these waves just kind of flow over you. These waves of gratitude, these waves of presence, these waves of breath. These waves of connection. These waves of intention. The next time you find yourself in a cat pose, let's hang out in cat pose. So press through your hands, round through your upper back and shoulders. And I want you to, in this moment, allow for the weight of the world just to roll off the upper back and shoulders, to let it all go right here, right now. Slowly, as you come to center, walk your hands a couple inches more forward, press down through your hands and move it into a downward facing dog. Take your time to arrive, down dog. So just warming it up, right? Really taking your time to warm up from the inside out in our practice today. So maybe you've had a long day. Maybe it's 8 p.m. Maybe it's 10 p.m. where you are. 6 p.m. Maybe it's early in the morning. Maybe you're in Hawaii and early in the morning. Whatever it is that's, wherever you are, just honor your body for where it's at today. This journey through yoga. This journey on and off the mat. Honoring it all. Take an inhale breath, go high onto your toes, press your chest towards your straight legs. As you exhale, guide the heels towards the surface. Together we'll breathe in, high the toes, chest to thigh. Exhale, heels going down. One more time, inhale, high the toes, chest to thighs. Exhale, heels going down. Inhale, right leg up into the air. The knees stack the hips. Give yourself a couple big, nice circles here on the right side, open up. Take your right leg back halfway down. Take an inhale, and then just gently float the foot between your hand. Drop your back knee to the surface, top of the foot down, Anjani Asana, low lunge, inhale, bring it up. Nice, settling in here, breathing into the, the hip flexor as you lengthen up, as you strengthen. Breathe in, inhale. Breathe out, exhale. Settle a little bit more, reach to your fingers. Breathe deep, deep breath. Gently transition your right palm to the back of your left leg. Your left arm up back and over and you find some nice breath to your left side body. Feel these flowing breaths as we're breathing in and out. Switch it up, left palm, left thigh, right arm up back and over. Breathe nice and big, open up here. Take one more breath in. Gently cartwheel your hands down, frame your foot. Straighten out to your right best. You can't find this little hamstring stretch here on the right side. Nice, so I'm super excited for the music too. I see a lot of you put in the chat out there. With this music, yes, Taz is playing unreleased tracks. Things you've never heard before. It's gonna be amazing. You're gonna be able to do this together. Immersing and experiencing something unique for a beautiful international yoga day. Take one more breath. Slowly bring your right knee over right ankle. Teepees with your hands, Spring your foot. Tuck your back toes under, find a nice lunge. I am strong right here. I am connected. I am present. Gently left palm down. Inhale, right arm high to the sky. Stay strong as you move down. Rise up, inhale. Exhale, you twist, open, reach. Inhale, we work to lengthen the spine. On the exhale, we twist a little more. Take one more breath together. Nice and easy, transition your right hand down, frame your foot. Let's take it back into a plank shape, hands down nice and strong. Feel your core strong, 
body strong, mind strong. Nothing lacking today. Just remind yourself in this moment, you have everything you need for this practice. It's all good. Big inhale. Exhale, lower down. You can use knees if you want to. Chaturanga, elbows in. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhaling back, roll over your toes, downward dog. And wherever you are is perfect. Remember the puppy stretch, like down dog on your knees is always available. Child's pose is always there for you. I don't know how many memes about child's pose always being available that Brian and I have made, but just remember, just know that it's true. It's always there for you. Take a nice big inhale breath. Guide your left legs nice and easy up into the sky. Bend your knees, stack your Start to make some nice circles here on the left side. Open it up. Left leg back halfway down. Together we breathe. Exhale, float the left foot between your hands. Drop your back knee down to the surface. Inhale, low lunge, reach your arms high to the sky. Settle through your shoulders, reach through your fingers. Inhale, exhale. Feel that power that you have in this wonderful low lunge. Rooting down as you're lengthening up. Left palm to the back of your right leg, right arm up back and over, breathe big to your right side body. Opening here, reaching and lengthening. Take one more together. Right palm to the back of your right thigh, left arm up and over, breathe big to your left side body. Open to your pecs and your chest, lengthen. Take one more together. Nice, gently cartwheel your hands down, frame your foot. Straighten out through the left leg. Folding over the leg, breathing through the hamstring, opening here. Remind yourself in this moment that wherever you are, be all there. But this practice is meant for you for today. It's not about what you, a pose that we saw on Instagram that we want to get to. It's about just doing what we can do for today. Knowing that's more than good enough. Showing up fully, present, having a little bit of fun, doing a little bit of yoga. Easy with it, left knee over left ankle. Let's strengthen up, tuck your back toes under. Nice and strong through your right hand. Inhale, left arm to the sky. All my troubles seem so far Lengthen through your crown. Away. Reach through your hand. No troubles today. To you got this. Oh, Gently take your left hand down, frame your foot. Move it back into a plank shape. Take your time. Nice. You got beetles going on? Take a big inhale. Exhale, lower down, chaturanga, take your time. Inhaling, upward facing dog. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Fun fact, Taz tells Brian and I nothing about what's gonna happen. Nice and easy, walk your feet to your hands. Come on up to the front of your mouth. Get a little sway as you hang down and wrap. Easy with it. Don't overthink it. with it. Take left hand right in front of your left toe, straighten out through your right leg. As you inhale, reach your right arm high to the sky, straighten through your leg. Inhale, exhale. Take one more breath in. Slowly transition the right hand down, straighten out through your left leg, left arm high to the sky. Breathing deep. Deep breath. Take one more together. Slowly left hand goes down. Hands to shins or waist. Inhale, just a halfway lift. Inhale, length. Exhale, fold down. Press through your feet. Inhale, reverse one by. Bring it high. Hands to your heart, thumbs to your sternum. Settle the shoulders back down for a moment. Come present home to your mat and feel that groundedness through your feet as you breathe big and reach your arms high in the sky. Use your right hand, grab your left wrist. Tuck your phone under, lengthen up. Slowly take it over to the side. So bending to the right. Chin away from your chest, breathe in. And breathe out. Slowly come to center. 
Left hand, right wrist. Lengthen high. Slowly take it to the other side. Nice and easy. Straightening out through your arm best you can. Hips forward, upper body back. Slowly back through center. Take your hands to your heart. Honor yourself for showing up today, for being here, for being part of this, for being part of something amazing and fun. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, palms down. Take it back to plank pose, lower down, find a vinyasa. That's what I tell my kids when I say AF. I'm like, it's amazing and fun. Right, B? Not that other thing. Amazing and fun. Take a nice inhale breath. Right leg up. Let's make it fun. Knee to the nose. Crunch it in. Round your back. Hollow your belly. Inhale. Right leg up. Right knee. Right tricep. Nice and strong. Be weary. Of the right leg up. Nice and easy to the left tricep. Strong. Inhale. Right leg up. And then gently float the foot between your hands. High on your back toes. Inhale. Reach it high. Long time. Always be weary of that yoga teacher that says, I got something fun in store for you. You know that guy or that girl. Nice. Three breaths of joy because today we're being joyful in the celebration of the community of yoga. Take an inhale, open up your arms nice and wide. Exhale, hug it all in. Inhale, open up joy. Exhale, bring it in. Hug thyself. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, arms straight up. Exhale, left arm forward, right arm back. You can always drop your back knee down, right? This is all good. Little water wheel. Easy with it. Right palm to the back of your left side. Left arm up, back and over. Wherever you are is perfect. All right, back to water wheel. And like you're moving through water, position yourself around so you find a little warrior two with your right leg forward, your left leg back, your right knee over your right ankle. Find warrior two. Nice, so stay there on your warrior two. Knee over, ankle, strong. You got it. And then nice and easy, left palm, left thigh, right arm up, back and over. Three big to the right side body. Take a nice breath in. As you exhale, gently cartwheel your hands down, frame your foot. Move it back into plank pose. Take your time to arrive. Take it through a flow. Take a vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back, downward dog. All right, the vibe picks up, the energy picks up, the BPMs pick up. Let's move it. Inhale, left leg high. Here we go. Exhale, knee to the nose, crunch it in, cat spine, core strong. Inhale, left leg. To the left tricep, you got this. Inhale, left leg up. To the right tricep, you got this. Inhale, left leg up. Float the foot right between your hands. Strong back toes, now reach it high. Shoulders settling, back leg strong. Who's feeling joyful out there? I guess it's kind of a rhetorical question. Take a nice big inhale breath, open up the pecs, the chest, expand. Heck, bring it in, hug. I'm gonna assume everybody, inhale, open. A nice big hug for the world. Inhale, open. Exhale, hug it in. Inhale, arms to the sky. Right arm forward, left arm back. Breathing into our water wheel. Back knee down if you want it. Inhale, exhale. Left palm, right thigh. Right arm up, back and over. Breathe big to your right side body. Long, even inhale, slow, steady exhales. Take one more breath. Transition yourself all the way around to warrior two, like you're moving through water. That's a new one. Here we are. Nice and strong, right palm, right thigh, left arm up, back and over. I love these pajama pants I have on, by the way. If you're loving your pajamas that you're practicing, having some fun out there, take a big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel your hands down. Let's frame the foot. Move it to plank. Through your vinyasa, through your chaturanga, take your time, find your flow. Nice work. 
Take an inhale together. Go high to your toes. Exhale, bend your knees. Hop, walk forward. Take a halfway lift. Inhale. Fold, exhale. Press through your feet. Reverse swan dive. Bring it high. Hands to heart. Thumbs to sternum. Saddle the shoulders a little bit. Roll out a few times. Let the weight of the world roll off your shoulders a few times. Maybe some spinal rotations, just a little bit side to side. A little feeling good. Nice job. All right. Come on back to the top of your mat. Let's find ourselves there. Moving into everybody's favorite pose, Utkatasana. Scoop the earth on the inhale, chair pose. I hope that made you giggle out there. I know at least a handful of you are definitely giggling like, yo, what are you talking about? Inhale and exhale. Nice, take a nice breath in. As you exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, palms down, back to plank. Move it through your vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Back to down dog. Sounds good, feeling good. All right, here we go. Inhale your right leg high to the air. Exhale, float the right foot right between your hands. Nice and easy. Let's go warrior one. Back heel down, Vira Madrasana one, bring it up. Settle into the front knee, continuing to reach through your fingers. Long, even inhales. Slow, steady exhales. Arms back behind the head, slowly walk your feet down. Feel that basket with your arms, that expansion, that openness through your pecs and your chest. Now together, let's breathe in, bring your arms over your head. Let's go hands to heart. Let's work a little balance. Best you can. Ready? Inch forward at your waist. Press off your back foot and find a gentle float into your front leg. Easy with it. Keep the eyes friendly and steady. The back leg nice and strong. The arms strong. Wherever you are is perfect. Breathe deep. Deep breath. Nice Ujjayi, stay with it. Everybody hands to heart, hands to mat, feet together to your space. Halfway lift, inhale, fold, exhale. Feet together, chair pose, Utkatasana, back to your chair, here we are. Gaze to the horizon, sitting a little deeper, reaching up. Take a big breath in. As you exhale, let's forward fold, let it go. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, arms down. Plank pose, move through your vinyasa. Chaturanga. Inhale up. Exhale back, down dog. Nice job. Together, to the other side. Stay with me, you got this. Inhale, left leg up. Gently float the foot between your hands. Spin the back and warrior one on the inhale, bring it high. Keeping that bend in the front leg, that length of your arms, that powerful stance, that powerful intention, that powerful breath, that deep connection. Arms back behind the head, walk your fingers down, open right here. Feeling the expansion and contraction. Feeling the community connection, the breathing. Flowing around the world. Take an inhale, bring the arms up. Let's go hands to heart, thumbs to sternum. Hinge forward, press off your back foot. Let's do it together, float into your front leg. Whew. If you're a wiggle wobble in, it's okay. There's no judgment in here. Breathing in and breathing out. You got it, take one more. Slowly bring your feet together at the front. Forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. 
Exhale, palms down. Back to plank. Move it through your vinyasa. Or just hang out in down dog. Either way is all good. Downward facing dog. Nice. Drop your knees to the surface. Nice. Let's settle into hero's pose. Just placing your palms in your lap. Sitting here on your knees. Feeling the shoulders settle. Maybe a towel, maybe a water, maybe a suja juice. Take a moment. To connect with yourself. And know that by you showing up today, you're part of that change that you want to see in the world. By doing the inner work and working on ourselves and connecting with ourselves, then we're able to show up for others more fully in our lives. We're able to be a little bit more present, a little more supportive, more compassionate. And it all begins within by taking this time for health and well being, taking this time for you. Each and every one of us appreciates you more than you know. With that being said, let's gently roll over the knees. Take ourselves into a tabletop shape and then press it back. Downward facing dog. A communal inhale through your nose and then exhale out the mouth softly. Go through your nose. Exhale out, let it go. One more time. Letting it all go. Now hide it too. Exhale, bend the knees, hop, walk, float forward. Inhale, halfway lift. Hold, exhale. Press to your feet, inhale, first swan dive. Take it nice and high to the sky your hands to your heart, your thumbs to your sternum. And in this moment, I want you to shift your weight over into your right. Feel really good about it. Gaze out to the horizon and maybe you have some walls in front of you, right? Maybe you're inside. You can't see the horizon line out there over the ocean, but I want you to take the, that spot right between your third eye, right between the brows, right at that third eye, just gazing out intuitively. Shift your weight and find your tree pose. Any version of tree that feels most appropriate for you. A kickstand, the inner thigh, wherever you are is perfect. As we allow ourselves to be that change, maybe you take your hands right at your heart and you do the most ancient mudra of all time, the little heart at your heart center mudra. And you feel this connection, this presence, this breath, this moment. Take your time, let's transition from here. Let's be crazy, let's do something fun. Let's take it into dancer's pose, take it easy with it. Strong on your right leg, transition the left hand, the left ankle to the left, right arm extends up. Press strong, inhale, lengthen up. Exhale, kick your foot to your hand. Oh, I tried to do a jump turn on my mat. I think I made it. So nice and easy. Kick your foot to your hand. Allow the kick to drive the stretch into this beautiful standing backward. Feeling the vibes. Feeling the breath. And if you fall out, it's no big deal. You just get back in and give it a whirl again. Fall down seven, get back up eight. Slowly when you're ready. Let the left foot come down to the surface. Give it a little shake. And then maybe you find yourself just moving to the beat a little bit, right? Just finding something organic that just feels really good for you. It can be a dance move. It can be a stillness. It can be whatever you want to be in this moment. And you just kind of allow yourself to just be free. To be open. To feel really good. About being. Nice work, friends. Way to connect, way to be. Let's 
come back to that sense state of being and transition ourselves to that other side. Because what we do on one side, we do on the other. And even if it feels totally foreign on the other side, let's have that same powerful intention as we move down into the left foot. As we turn our right toes up, as we gaze out, as we breathe in, and as we breathe out. If you like the ancient heart mudra right at your heart, I invite you to go back there. If you have something else you want to practice, maybe a crown mudra for crown connection to our higher power. Wherever you are is perfect. Notice that presence is with your breath. And do your best to swift through this transition as you take your right hand and grab the right foot inside ankle bone. Left arm sky. Knees in, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, drive the kick to the stretch. Here we go. Keep it rolling, my friends. You got this. Inhale, exhale. Stay with your balance. I can and I am. Slowly transition out of there. Let the feet come down. All right. Let's take it here. Utkatasana. We're going to take it all the way down to the glutes. We're going to go nice and slow with the beat of this song. This is one of my favorite songs that Tad's about to drop right here. So we're going to go slow. We're going to bring our feet together. Bring our knees together. Take the arms. Settling nice and low. Sternum lifted. Take it down. A little lower. Keep reaching. A little lower. Keep reaching. A little lower. Keep reaching. And when you're ready, transition onto the glutes nice and easy, taking your legs to the sky, finding everybody's favorite pose, maybe your second favorite, Navasana. A little boat pose with your hands behind your thighs or maybe your arms to the sky. And feel your boat. Feel your core. Reach through your fingers. Breathe deep. Deep breath. In and out. Stay with. You got another breath in there. I know you got it in there. Nice. Slowly cross your legs. Take your hands down by your sides. Whew. Whose idea was that one? Who put that out to the universe? I don't know. We did it. Let's take it down. Let's take our hands down. Take it back to a plank. I think it's almost time for Yogi Brian to take us down. Take a nice inhale breath. Exhale, let's flow through a vinyasa, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, back downward facing dog. Nice, settle into your dog. Notice the heels towards the surface. Notice things of breath. I think we've got that one more nice big backward breath. Nice and warmed up today. Breathing into our hearts, feeling that connection. Let's let our heart shine screen a little for strassa, a little camel pose. So come to standing on your knees. We're gonna do one, one nice one. The so tops of the feet can be down, toes can tuck under, whatever's more appropriate for you. Hands to waist. Press your stomach, legs, hips forward. Carefully drop your head back. Stay right, cool, option one. Number two, maybe to the thumbs outside, fingers inside. Feeling this nice, wonderful opening here. Breathe in and breathing out. Slowly press your hands to your waist. Bring yourself back up. Settle your hips to your heels. Bring your forehead down to the mat. Give yourself this moment right here. As you feel this awakening in your soul, as you allow yourself to feel your third eye rested to the surface. The space of intuition. Maybe the space that's led you here to this practice today. Maybe before you even knew about this yoga thing, maybe six months ago, a year ago. Whenever it is that you found yoga, before you found it, you didn't know about it. But now that you do, you can't unknow. And noticing these wave amazingness that come over us as we practice as we come home to ourselves. I'm gonna turn it over to my very 
very, very best friend, Yogi Brian, to lead us through the remainder of our practice and into our wonderful guided meditation for today. So remain here just for a moment as we transition to Yogi Brian and find a nice softening right here. Forehead on the mat. Pedro said, uh, he's my best friend, but after all those chair poses, I'm going to maybe get a new best friend. It's all, all easy from here. Just come back to your breath. In and out. You're in your child's pose here. Why don't you smile? Take a nice big smile. Really wide. No one can see you. Get cheesy with it. Big smile. Bigger. Just notice how the body feels there. Feels good, doesn't it? Nice and steady, nice and smooth. And let's slowly make our way to downward facing dog, tucking those toes, sending the hips high. Just breathing it out, feeling it out, feeling the body. Inhale that right leg high to the sky. Exhale, sweep it through. We're gonna set up for pigeon on the right side here. And that's my favorite pose. So shin parallel to the mat, left leg long and straight, toes follow. Flex this right foot. Square in the hips. Inhale for length. Then exhale, taking sleep and pigeon. Coming down on the forearms. If you have a block, set your block on your forehead or rest your forehead on the mat. Or your bolster. It's gonna be a nice smooth descent. Like you're landing a 747 jet. Nice and smooth. And just give yourself permission to relax here. Absorbing the breath, absorbing the music. And wiping away any to-do list that you have. Clear them away. you can relax in your body where are you holding the tension at the shoulders are you clenching your jaw relax your jaw there you go nice and smooth And if you'd like to take a variation in your pigeon, now's the time. Maybe you want to slowly come up and reach for that foot, maybe with one hand or two hands. Or you can stay folded over. Taking your variations, listening to your body. Just because you saw it on Instagram doesn't mean your body's ready for it. Listen to your body. Good is this music? Wow. Taz is coming through. Taking a few breaths here, a few more breaths. And release that back foot if you have it. If you fold it over, come onto the hands. Come onto the hands. 
untuck this back toe, tuck the back toe. Then press into the hand, just sweep this right leg back, three-legged dog, and just shake it out a little bit, get the blood flowing. Then set that right foot down. Downward facing dog, and then left leg comes high. Sweep it through. Setting up for that pigeon on your left side, squaring the hips, flexing this left foot that protects your knee. Back leg long and straight, toes follow. Inhale for the length. Exhale, fold it over. Oh yeah. So you give yourself permission to relax. Tell yourself, I will relax. Opening up these hips. You know we hold a lot of emotions in the hips here. Shakira said it best, the hips don't lie. They don't lie at all. Just breathe here, that's it, in and out. Nice and smooth, you know what to do, you've been breathing all your life. Just listen to the body. Totally normal. Let it out, let it flow. Just gotta feel it, feel the body. And if you'd like to take your variation, now's the time. Maybe you want to reach for the back foot. One hand or both hands. I'm staying folded over. That joke tired me out. Too many chair poses for me. Might need a 75 minute shavasana. Be gentle with your body wherever you're at. Three more breaths. Yoga teacher always does that. They're like three more breaths and I don't even count. I think that's about three breaths now. So release the foot. Coming onto the hands if you fold it over, tuck that back toe. Sweep that left leg back and long, shake it out. That one foot flowing. My AirPods keep falling out. Now come on to a seat. Come on to a seat. Easy seat. We're going to bring these feet together. Feet together. We're going to make a diamond with our feet. So maybe walk the feet a little in front of you here. Diamond. You can sit on a bolster. If you'd like, get some elevation in the hips. We're going to inhale the arms high, reach for the sky. On exhale, hinging at the waist, reaching it forward, keeping the spine straight until you can't keep it straight anymore. Then round the spine, relax the neck. Just breathe, that's it. So all you got to do is breathe. Relax the shoulders, like Pedro says. If you're holding the weight on the shoulders, release it. You can only do you.
Breathe it in, breathe it out. Three more breaths here, nice and steady and smooth. Slowly come up, slowly come up. Reaching the arms high to the sky. Exhale, pressing those hands down, grounding yourself. There you go. Straighten out the legs, shake them out a little bit, just a little bit. And then get that right leg straight, bring this left foot in. Left foot inside of this right leg, flex that right foot. Inhale, arms reach high to the sky. Exhale, hinge towards that right leg, fold it forward, reach for it. Round the spine, hands can come on each side of the leg or the shins or touch the toes. If you can't touch your toes, don't worry about it. You're not getting graded in class today. You're all passing. You all pass, good job. All you gotta do is breathe, that's it. In and out. Relax that jaw. We hold tension in different parts of the body. It's good to just bring awareness where we hold that tension. Once we're aware of it, we can change it. Slowly come up, arms come high to the sky. Maybe taking a counter stretch if it feels right. Counter stretch, to the left. Right hand, left knee, feeling good. Maybe reaching this right arm high, feeling good. Just gotta feel the body. Switching out that other side, taking your time, there's no rush. Left leg long, flexing that left foot. Inhale, arms come high, get the length of the spine. Exhale, hinge towards that left leg, fold it over. This side might feel different, that's okay. You're not symmetrical. And we make shapes with the body and it affects our mind and it affects our feelings because the body is a subconscious mind. We hold all of our emotions in our body here. We're gonna feel, we're gonna breathe it out. Shoulders that are tense, clenching your jaw, and it's your forehead. Relax it all. Three, two, one. Slowly come up, arms high. Taking that counter stretch over to the left. Left hand to that right knee. We're reaching it over. Oh, it feels good. Bring it back around, we're gonna zip up these feet. Zip up the feet, flex the feet, and then remove the meat from the seat here. So just rock it back and forth, remove the meat from the seat. Flex the feet, inhale, arms come high. Exhale, hinging at the waist. Seated forward, fold. You can bend the knees if you need to. You can't touch the toes, don't beat yourself up, it's okay. the shoulders. Taking the curvature out of the spine here. A good safe pose for the body, for the mind here. Relaxes you, stimulates the kidneys and the liver. So you know a lot of you been drinking a lot of white claws. It's good for you white claw drinkers. You might even be drinking a white claw before this class. It's okay. I'm not judging you. 
that you probably should drink sujin instead. Breathe it out, let it go. You know, take a smile. Have fun in your practice, you know? Okay, slowly come up. Coming onto our backs. I know you're all happy when you get on the back here in yoga. I know we're not doing any else. Coming onto the back, bringing the feet on the mat, knees high. We're gonna set up for a bridge pose. So the feet are hip distance apart. Fingertips should be able to touch the heels. Pressing the feet, press the shoulders back, lift the hips. You're in your bridge here. And this is a great back bend. It gives you energy. It's like a double shot espresso right here for you. Starbucks drinkers. Feel like your thighs are engaged. So your thighs are engaged like you're hugging a block or a tennis ball. Your glutes are firm, but they're not clenched. Okay? Don't be a tight ass. Sorry, this was PG-13. But relax. And slowly come down, slowly come down. Then she'll wipe the knees. Then she'll wipe the knees, there you go. Okay, from here, bring the feet. Hip distance apart, knees high. We're just gonna bring this right knee. I mean, right ankle over this left thigh. Maybe arms out to the side, arms out to the T. Pressing the feet, just lift the hips over to the left slightly. So lift the hips over to the left, and then maybe wrap this leg around a little bit more this left leg. And then we're just gonna bring the legs to the right, gaze to the left. Nice little twist. Feeling like you're a sponge, you're just wringing out all the excess negative vibes in your life. Just wring it out into your mat here. You don't need it anymore. Release it. Keeping the shoulders flat on the mat, breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. Three, two, one, slowly come back to center. Bring this right foot on the mat. And then bring your hips square. So just moving the hips up. Keep the arms out to the T. Bring this left ankle over the top of this right thigh. Flex this left foot. Press into the right foot. Lift the hips over to the right. Maybe wrap this leg around a little bit more. Send the legs to the right, gaze to the left. If you're doing it with, if you're um, practicing with a partner, this is the time where you can get kind of weird and creepy and you can play with their hair, play with their ears. Make sure you know, don't do this in a yoga studio. You don't know the person next to you. That joke, I normally get like two or three laughs for 30 people, so. Can't hear you laugh, hopefully you did. It's just yoga, don't take your practice so seriously. Breathe. Three, two, one, slowly come around. Bring this left foot down, square the hips. So just lift the hips up, square them up. We're gonna get the legs up in the air, waterfall. Grab the backs of the thighs, flex the feet. If you have a block, prop this block at the base of your spine here, and this just throws up. It's up your legs, or if you have a wall in your house, I'm sure you do, you can throw your legs up the wall. It's called waterfall, legs up the wall. You can call it whatever you want. You can call it any pose, whatever you want. Because if you make the shape with your body, it's gonna affect your body, it's gonna affect your mind. Here, legs up the wall. This is a great anti-anxiety, antidepressant. Helps with restless leg syndrome. Just breathe. So all you gotta do is breathe one breath at a time. And then slowly come down, remove the block from underneath. 
knees come to the uh, armpits, grab the outer corner of your feet. You're in happy baby here. I must be your skin. Call happy I'm baby, it's not called sad baby, okay? There's only sad babies out there. You better be smiling. Be Rocking the back and forth. It's called happy baby for a reason. Then call it frustrated baby, it's then call it anxiety baby. baby. It's happy it's baby. Not my okay? time Any happy babies out there. Rocking it back and forth. And then release it, taking any final poses that you need. Any final poses that you just need to take a little bit more time on. Or do our shavasana and our meditation. Take anything you need. We can go straight to shavasana. And get ready. Give you about a minute or two. Do what you need. Absorb the music, feel it. Glycerine. All right, when you're ready, send in the legs long, arms long. Taking off any glasses, removing away any hair ties. you're touching anything, maybe you're touching a block or your bolster, we'll move it out of the way. You're not touching anything. If your partner's around, you can touch your partner. It's still a week too. The human connection's good. Do the meditation. Yeah, arms long, legs long. Arms facing up to receive. Or facing down for grounding. Just your natural breath here in and out. Allow the body to relax. that wave of relaxation throughout the body. Just giving yourself permission to be here. Giving yourself permission to relax. And it's just your natural breath in and out. Just observing the breath, that's it. Just observing the breath. Just noticing how the breath feels. Just noticing the exhale. When the inhale begins, notice the exhale all the way. And the inhale begins. Exhale fully, feel it. Feel the pause. And the inhale begins. wave of relaxation all the way from the crown of the head to the tips of the toes. Any tension in the body, just observe that tension. Just allow it to melt into your mat.
visualize it, seeing it melt into the mat, dissolving. Whole body relaxes here. Wave of relaxation throughout the body. Noticing the face starting to relax, the tension in the face and the cheeks and the jaw melts away. Down the back of your head into the mat. Just dripping down, relaxing, just dissolving. And the eyelids are feeling heavy, eyelids are so relaxed. Eyelids are so relaxed, try to open your eyelids, but you can't because they're so relaxed here. And that wave of relaxation throughout the body. Whole body relaxes. Surrendering into the moment here, into the breath. Through your eyelids, you see a tree. It could be a tree you've seen before or a tree in your imagination. Just noticing this tree, noticing the colors. It could be any color you want. This is your tree. So maybe look around and see where this tree is at. So you know you can get back to it. closer to the tree. Let's feel this unconditional love. The color is growing brighter on the leaves. It's your color, your tree. Just take time to look at it. Take time to absorb it. Take time to feel it. Take time to connect with it. It's yours. right underneath the tree you're looking up through the branches through the leaves this color the leaves be any color feel so grounded here so relaxed Safe. Looking up, looking around, just noticing the temperature. I want you to look down. As you look down, you can see all the roots. You can see all the roots. And you feel so grounded. So connected. So safe, so secure. root system just keeps going on and on through the ground. And this 
is your treaty, is your safe spot. Notice the feelings in the body. Seeing these roots, seeing these trees, this is yours, feeling this connection. Feeling it in your body. Soaking it up. Feeling emotions, feeling grounded, feeling secure, feeling safe, feeling loved, feeling connected. Giving yourself some time here. Knowing this feeling is always here for you. Knowing your grounding tree is always here for you. Knowing you can always come back to it. Taking anything else you need here at your grounding tree. And saying farewell to your tree for now, knowing you're going to come back whenever you need it. Start to come back to the breath. In and out. Back to the body. Come back to the mind here. Come back to your mat. Come back to the space. Come back to your breath. Taking a deep inhale through the nose. Exhale, open the mouth, sigh it out. Ha. Ah. One more time, inhale deeply through the nose. Exhale, sigh it out, let it go. Ah. Start to wiggle the fingers, wiggle the toes. Coming back to the body. Maybe head rock side to side, circles with the hands, circles with the feet. Arms reach overhead, toes tuck, extra long stretch here. Just coming back to the body, lengthening the body here, extra long. Bringing the knees into the chest, giving yourself a hug. Making your way to one side, fetal asana. And then slowly making your way up to an easy seat. Easy seat, legs crossed, spine straight, chin parallel to your mat here. We're gonna bring the hands to heart center. Eyes closed. Just feel that connection with everyone out there, everyone in the world. Invisible string, we're all connected. And these good vibes. Soak them up. All right, we're gonna do this. We're gonna bring the hands like this. We'll bring some friction with the hands, back and forth. Build the heat with the hands. Build the heat. Yes, get them hot. Come on, let's do it. Place them on the heart. Eyes closed. Feel it. 
feel that loving, radiant energy here. And then shoot it out to the world. Send it out to the world, all out to the world. Everybody here on Zoom, everybody out in the world that needs a love, shoot it out. Yes, there we go. Feeling good, hands come back to heart center. Thank you so much for practicing with us, Pedro, Taz, all our sponsors, Suja, Maximala, Mugger Mugger, thank you so much. Namaste, everybody.